Well, hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Island Scan, uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Island Scan to be precise. We are today, it is Thursday, and we are on a killer island. We are going to be getting a bee drill today with our QR scanning. This bee drill unfortunately does not have a special move, however. Um, and today for our scannings, we are going to be doing... QR codes for games. Now it looks like these are just regular iPhone app games of some sort that we got here. QR codes. But well, I guess we'll just see what the heck kind of Pokemon it is. QR code in games. Hmm. Anyway, this one's a pile of swine. And nice and neat. And this one is. It doesn't really say what it's from. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to trust it. No, yeah, Dust Noir. I like this Pokemon. It's one of my favorite... One of my favorite ghost types, actually. I have used it. And he is a defensive tank. Only for uh, special defense, though. Not so much physical. I'm not sure. I might have that reversed, actually. But, you know, whatever. He is, he's really defensive. For ghost type. A buffalant! Nice! Another pretty defensive Pokemon. And this one has made a maze out of a QR code, I guess. But it might not work because of all the drawings on it. Huh. Alright, well. Let's try this one. Angry Birds! I'm not sure if that's the right amount of contrast. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work either. Well, let's try this one. <laughs> we got Timber! A uh, female Timber. QR code for kids. Uh, Zangoose. I'm not sure what this QR code is for, too. I'm not sure which game it is. Slackoth. Cool. This one's from a game called Paperlings. I don't know what that is, but okay. It's a Hoppip! Cool. This one doesn't really say either. It just has QR code and then game and prizes. Ha! <laughs> the final form of Hoppip! That's quite hilarious! The fur I would prefer. Okay, this one's from the game Fez, but it's asking if the QR code is useful at all, and this seems complete. So I don't think we're gonna get a scan out of this, but I'll try anyway. Nope. Okay, but this one might work. Yeah, there we go. It's a Carablast. Well, that's cool. This one's for a, something called a QR code recycler, it says on there. That's different. What, what is it gonna be? A Blossom! Blossom! And that is it for our QR codes. We got 100 points, and let's go ahead and scan this island to get ourselves this Beedrill. Alright, this Beedrill is on Route 4, so let's go run, hunt him down. Here we are on Route 4. It was right outside of Hey Hey, hey, hey City. So we sh should be easy to find it. Is it going to be our first encounter? It is! Excellent! Go, Garchomp! Okay, let's try just throwing a quick ball at it. And go in! And, oh, he didn't stay. Okay, well, I guess that means we get to use our false swipe. He is using rage, it looks like. All right, false swipe would be... <laughs> well... All right, um, I guess we could just use a regular Pokeball on it. Well, that's not really fun now, is it? 
If it doesn't say in that, we'll pick something else. Yeah, he, he isn't saying in that one either. Okay. Um, he's got Fury Attack going. No, no. I <laughs> want balls. Maybe not an Ultra Ball. <laughs> You'll use a Master Ball on the Speed Rule? Um, we could put him in a Puri Mirror Ball, maybe. Um, I only have one left, and it is a Bug type, so that would be appropriate. But I think throwing it in a Nest Ball would be easiest. I'm sure there's a place we can buy net balls. I should consider that, because some of these Pokemon are grass and, I mean, bug and water type. <laughs> but oh well, we got ourselves a Beedrill in a nest ball. No nickname for you, come back one year. Off you were in a box. All right, and the scan is done, let's go back to the Pokemon Center and have a look. Okay, here is our Beedrill. You know, we never looked at these guys either. Alright, sorry. Yeah, only has three moves? Well, that's no fun. Rage, Fury Attack, and Twin Needle. And he is a hasty nature. So he has lower defense and increased speed. Well, Meteor already has pretty fast speed already. Defense, I'm not too jazzed about that. <laughs> Gosh, his defense stats appalling. But uh, I guess we can run one of those. All right, well, anyway, guys, that's that. Did we want to look at these other two, three Pokemon that we caught in another thing? We got Type Null given to us by Wick. He's Hardy Nature. Cool. Which means none of his stats are boosted. And this one, Estacada, is a Careful Nature, so his special attack is d decreased and his special defense is incre largely increased. Well, that's good. Actually, because I think most uh, people would counter this rock and steel with a, you know, special attack. Let's see this one. Mm, this one's got increased defense and lowered speed. Well, it's considering that the other one has really appalling speed too, it doesn't really matter, does it? He's relaxed. Okay. Alright, well those are the two Ultra Beasts I caught in the very first episode of the post game. And so you guys can check that out later, or I mean, unless you've already have checked that out, whatever. Well, I'll have it linked in the description and in the eye. The eye thing on the top right hand corner. Anyway, we will catch you guys in the next video. When we, in the next island scan, when we will do, I believe it's the grass or water. Yep, it's the grass Hoenn starter, second stage. It's a girl vial. Or grassy terrain. So stay tuned for that, or look forward to that. Bye for now.